Hey guys, I hope you're all doing good and welcome to another video where today I'm going to be talking about trackers in Siege. So basically trackers that show you which ops to ban, what rank the other person has and what KD and other stats they have. So basically if you're not familiar with them, the most popular two ones are R6 tracker and tap stats. And as I said before, they're basically used to just show you some statistics about your teammates and the enemy team. But at the same time, they kind of give you like information if somebody is like racist, toxic, if they grieve, stuff like that. At least that's what I see when I use tap stats. And they kind of became a lot more popular as... A lot more people have been using it, like pro players on the stream, the content creators and so on. And I kind of want to talk about why they can be detrimental towards your progress when you're trying to climb ranks, especially as a new player. If you watched my CG Academy video on mentality, you probably heard me talking about confidence. And it's a very important part about improving because if you're not confident, you will not be able to play to your full potential. Basically, as soon as you see somebody that was like a high rank at some point, so you're, let's say, a gold player and you're facing off against a former diamond champion, immediately when you see that, you're just like, oh, he's a diamond and you just like, you know, say to your team, like, oh, we got a diamond on the enemy team, like, there's no way we're gonna win this. Basically, the only thing that you're doing is immediately putting yourself in a disadvantage. I also said this to a friend of mine who's new to Siege. Like, just stop using trackers, because all you're doing is actually just like, hurting your gameplay and your improvement, because you're immediately just, like, second-guessing yourself, and... You really don't want to do that. Because when you do have the advantage, well not the advantage, when you do have the confidence, you do have the advantage because you are going to be playing to your fullest potential and at the same time you will be calling out your teammates and being like, yeah, like let's just do this and that, oh that didn't work, like let's do this, like these guys are shit anyway. And at the end, Trackers also cause a lot of toxicity where people see like, oh yeah, he was a platinum five seasons in a row, like, oh, your heart's stuck, oh, you're this, oh, you're that, you know, it's just like unneeded toxicity at the same time. I also want to talk about why they can be beneficial, but it's Basically, it's a double-edged sword because they do give you some information that you usually wouldn't get by just playing the game without them. And the information is basically, as I said before, the KD most played operators with some trackers, um, the rank as well, and who are they playing with. And the only time that's actually going to be useful for you is if you're a high-ranked player. So plat to plat 1 and above because that's usually where you're gonna be facing off against cheaters at least that was my case when I was like about two games of diamond last season the only time that's really gonna be useful is when as I said you're a high rank player and you see like a guy is potentially cheating on the enemy team or, or even on your team and the only thing that you can actually do when you see that is basically just like, try to dodge the game. And by doing that, you basically one of your friends or teammates, whatever, are going to have to disconnect and they're going to get a cooldown. And I did that as well, where I was like, oh, okay, this, this guy might be cheating. He even has like the red flag, like cheater. And I just asked like one of my call uh, my teammates, like, hey, are you fine with like leaving the game or should I do it because this guy's definitely cheating? Because I play like a lot of cheaters in Demon Veil and Vector Clear as well. And yeah, I kind of still haven't seen the rollback, which is pretty bad because I would get like a 
bunch of MMR, but you know, it is what it is. But yeah, it's up to you if you want to use the tracker. But like, as I said, if you're a new player, you don't really need it, especially not in gold or below. Because even target banning the operators that like a high ranked player might have in your game is not really gonna do much. Because even if you ban, I don't know, if he's an Ash and Goyo main and you ban those two ops, he's still going to be efficient on other operators. Like he just, you know, he likes playing those two the most. So just keep that in mind. And yeah. If we do use them, it's all up to you. But that's going to be the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. As always, please do leave a like and subscribe if you still haven't. And if you have any questions or you just want to hang out, I do stream on Twitch. That's twitch.tv for such verse underscore FPS. And as always, good luck in your game.